The year was 2019 and I just had one of the most deflating conversations of my life. Here I was thinking I was about to get promoted. My boss had completely obliterated me. The only skerrick of hope is that he hadn't flat out fired me. Not yet, that was to come. As I drove back to my apartment, I had this sinking feeling in my stomach. I was a failure. In those last few months, I'd had a relationship end badly. I'd got the same damn gamsat score again. I was about to get sacked at work and well, I was $50,000 in consumer debt. To say that the existential dread was overwhelming would be an understatement. The man I thought I was, the man I aspired to be, I definitely wasn't. In that moment, I felt pathetic. Maybe you felt that too. Despite your best intentions, you just don't seem to be going anywhere. On the drive home, I remember thinking about something that Carl Jung discussed in regards to neuroses or anxiety. And that is, it is essentially a call to action, a call to do something about your current situation. And well, I was in definite need of massive action. To put it more eloquently, be grateful for your difficulties and challenges, for they hold blessings. In fact, man needs difficulties. They are necessary for health, personal growth, individuation, and self-actualization. There were so many things I could blame for my current situation. Poor leadership, lack of education, toxic people, the works. But what did it matter? I couldn't change it. The only thing I could do was take complete ownership of it all, the good and the bad. I was the only one responsible for my problems. You see, I realized something on that drive home. I'd been deceiving myself. I thought I was doing everything right. I was absolutely convinced that my actions were the correct ones. Yet when I looked around, I wasn't getting the outcomes I wanted. My relationship had failed. I wasn't making progress financially. Work wasn't going well and the dream of becoming a doctor was slowly slipping away. So despite what my brain was telling me, it was all bullshit. I was bullshit. And that's when it hit me. Watch what people do, not what they say. And that includes myself. You see, self-awareness can be defined as the conscious awareness of one's own character, feelings, motives, and desires. And interestingly, these are often revealed to us through our behavior and not the story we tell ourselves. By definition, I was not particularly self-aware. This was my opportunity to come to terms with that fact and take some drastic action. Ultimately, this would become the first step in what has been a massive transformation and to learn a lesson which I believe is an absolute fucking superpower. And that is the ability to be objective with oneself. So what's the first step? Accept the fact that you fucked up, and you likely have been for quite a while. This is probably one of the most difficult pills to swallow, but if you can get it down, then your life will get a whole lot easier. Your ego is going to fight you here. That's its job to protect you, but it hasn't been, so it's time to put it in a box for a while. The thing is, we all like to think that we behave appropriately. We all like to think we're doing the right things. When you make a decision, you make the best one you think you can make. And when it doesn't work out, your brain will find a way to justify that. But truthfully, it's often because we made the wrong decision to begin with. Sure, this is fine if you make a left turn instead of a right turn or a simple mistake like that. But what if you've been doing something the same way for a year? What if you've been doing it the same way for 20? That's a whole other ball game. You suddenly have to confront the fact that what you've been doing is wrong and you've been doing that for a long time. Our ego does not like this. So I guess what I'm saying is that if you want to achieve something and you haven't gotten any closer, it's very likely that you're actually wrong, that you've been deceiving yourself and that you need to do something drastically different. Second, to outline the rules of the game. If you want to achieve something, you have to outline the rules of the game properly. These aren't what you think they are, they're what they actually are. At work, it's more often than not your colleagues' expectations, not yours, that matter. For GAMSAT, it's less about learning a bunch of science and humanities articles, but more about actually developing your logic and reasoning skills in those domains. 
Whatever it is, you need to sit down and actually outline the rules of the game you're playing and don't let your ego get in the way. Next, now we have to observe ourselves in every moment. To really learn this lesson, you have to watch yourself like a hawk. Imagine for a moment that someone with no emotional connection to you was watching you for a day. What would they report? They know every single detail of every little thing you did. What are they going to write down? Importantly, it's not the thoughts in your head, but it's what you actually do. For instance, if I was sitting down to study and I was reading through a practice question and I found myself zoning out, I'd catch myself. Was I really paying attention? Or I'd use a stopwatch and I would record every minute of focused activity. And at the end of the hour, had I done an hour of actually focused effort or had I done 30 minutes that was punctuated by phone, notifications, toilet breaks and chatting with my housemate. The same went for work. And through all of this, I actually had to switch my emotions off. And I did this in every area of my life. Sure, I stuffed it up occasionally. These constant little reminders and moments to reflect on what I was doing were transformative. Finally, you're gonna stuff it up and that's okay. Just begin again. Realize that this is ultimately a lifelong process. You'll be given information, you'll act on that information and you'll get feedback. The skill is in watching your actions objectively and not allowing your ego to justify poor performance or to stand in the way of being truthful with yourself. This might sound simple, but it's exceptionally hard to do. So with that, I'm going to leave you with a quote from my favorite, Carl Jung. It is not I who create myself, rather I happen to myself. Become aware of your patterns and the impact these patterns have on your life and you can start anew and you to make better choices. Thank you for watching.